pause for a moment, take a deep breath, and appreciate that feeling as we share this next story for hundreds of children at CHEO. Breathing is tough. Respiratory therapists are in every corner of that hospital trying to change that reality. So we're going to go into the trauma. They walk the halls at CHEO disguised by their stethoscopes. A lot of people think we're sort of a specialized nurse, but we're an entirely separate profession. And do the kids call you doctor sometimes? Uh, they do, and I correct them. Yeah. And I tell them I'm a therapist. I'm here to help you. A respiratory therapist, their so focus, our most basic asking. need. <sighs> Carol Dimash, a case manager who has spent years assessing breathing, conducting tests like this one, pulmonary function. <sighs> as soon as they walk in, I tell them, this is the stress-free zone. You're just going to be blowing in a machine. I'm just going to be checking your lungs. Nothing is going to hurt. Nothing but empathy for the kids she sees, patients with respiratory conditions ranging from asthma to cystic fibrosis. Those kids have to do up to 45 minutes of uh, therapy even before they start doing their, you know, getting dressed uh, for school in the morning. GEO Foundation dollars help supply the equipment that lets RTs help these kids, machines like the platysmograph. Oh, yes, they are expensive. I did the uh, RPF for that, and uh, it's, a, it's a costly machine, but I think it's essential because um, it, it's, it's more precise. Essential, like the RTs themselves on the front line at CHEO. When a patient can't breathe on their own, they jump in. We've got good chest rise. By inserting the tube, um, that allows us to connect them to a mechanical ventilator, which is the machine that will do the breathing for them. Without taking your eyes off the vocal Demonstrating cords. intubation to young it's RT it's students there. remembers how the nervous she was the first time she had to do this, this on her own. Very. Yeah, your hands are shaking and everybody sort of breathes a sigh of relief once the tube's in and the patient's stabilized. The process of intubation very technical, but Gillespie, a so new mom herself, eyes. says she's never detached. You're always thinking now, you know, what if that were my child? She was that child once right here at CHEO. I don't remember myself, but I, I am an asthmatic, and so I was here a lot when I was a kid. And my mom says she remembers the RT sneaking in in the middle of the night to give me my treatments and do assessments, so. Is she very proud of what you do? I think so. <laughs> of course she is, and there is an ongoing need for ventilators used throughout the hospital. Each comes with a price tag of $50,000. Your continued support makes a difference in the lives of the children at CHEO. Please visit CHEOFoundation.com and donate today.